So what should I do next? Um, let me figure that out. Where are you going? It's here. Kalina, it's here. Wait, it's it. I was gonna start this vlog with my morning routine of making a smoothie, but of course, as I get all the stuff, I realize that my husband used the last of the little bit of juice that I use, um, and I don't wanna drive anywhere, so I don't know what to do. I don't really eat in the morning. Uh, I tend to get like stomach pain, so I usually do a smoothie and blend it up and all that crap, but I don't wanna drive to the store, so um, we have a convenience store thing in our community. I could just walk to that. Okay, I'm gonna go do that. Um, sorry, this vlog got started weird. Just give me a minute, I'll go do that, and I'll come back. Okay, so it's a good thing I left my phone here because then it sat in the same place when I went to go get, I went to get juice. So yeah, I forget we have this convenience store because I never go to it, my husband goes to it, but it clicked in my head that he's gotten stuff before, so why couldn't I just do that? So I did just get this little mini made apple juice. It's not my favorite thing to do, to use. That's what they had. Um, I don't even use a lot of this, but I don't want to use water in my smoothie. So yeah. So let me go start that morning process and we will return. So it, you can't keep interrupting when I'm trying to record. Are you going to interrupt me again? So it is time for another studio vlog. I want to pump these out, or let me see, rephrase that. I want to record them as soon as I can. Uh, don't mind my very spotty shirt right now. I just was doing laundry and some other things and I was playing with my dog and all that. Sometimes I get a little roughed up. But it's, it's, in, it's in the morning, it's like 10 or something like that. I did wake up earlier though. I tend to wake up quite early, but I wasn't, I'm not one of those people that can just like wake up in the morning and then just start recording. Um, I may not look it, but I try to clean up, I guess. I guess the shaving doesn't count, but either way. The last time I had some things I had to keep on a list to get done. I did not get all of them done, but I did finish my sticker before that we all talked about that I showed you guys. I have more things to do. I have some prints I gotta sketch out and I still need to deduct a bunch of five by sevens from my display. Cause I have a giant binder that I keep a bunch of them in, but I have like about 270 of them and that's a little too much. And I know some people get stuck at the table and they get too many choices. So it's like a paralysis or whatever, like um, too many options, fatigue or something like that. I don't know what the word was someone used, but I got a deduct and it will help space stuff out and it'll help me with inventory. Cause when I go to conventions, I have a bunch of inventory always in these little boxes that uh, I thought I had somewhere around here. And I don't remember where I put them. So it was in these boxes. I used to keep all these prints in here, but I had multiple ones. I had, I think, just for the five by seven prints, I had, I think, seven? I think seven of these. And then I had two for stickers, but I'm also cutting back on stickers too. I'm actually gonna redraw a bunch of them and just get rid of a bunch. So a lot of those freebies are gonna be given out too at cons and on um, and for online orders. The five by sevens, like deducting them, is gonna be a big task because I'm attached to a lot of them, especially because they're prints of paintings I've done. And once the painting's gone, I don't keep the paintings anymore. So it's the only way I can like remember that I did it, or it's like a it's an emotional, an emotional attachment thing. I know it's maybe a little dumb, but it's the only way I can remember I painted that because I don't have it anymore. But some of these prints don't sell anymore. I've had them for a long time. I've been painting religiously since like 2017. Um, so I need to let go. Obviously I'm gonna draw. I'll show you some freebie stuff. Um, hopefully I won't be sporadic with this vlog this time. I don't, I shouldn't have anything to interrupt me today except for the animals, which they always do. 
So yeah, we'll, let's just go on this ride with me. We'll see how it goes. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of my Tokyo Revengers stuff for the 5x7s. I have other Tokyo Revengers stuff, but they don't seem to move as much anymore. I saw the occasional Mikey, but it's just kind of taking up space, if I'm being honest. And I gotta make hard choices. So, there's already some of them that I love personally, and I haven't sold maybe in about six months and I am getting rid of it as much as I want to keep it. But my husband Shane is very adamant about take it out and blah, blah, blah. You know, he doesn't sound like that, but I don't know. I, I gotta understand to a degree. I can't keep everything, even though it may seem like I am. But like even my hero. My hero doesn't really sell anymore like it used to. And I don't know if other artists who are watching, if you all can agree with that. Um, but for a while, My Hero Academia stuff really used to sell. But it's one of those things where it becomes more... Um, I don't want to keep using the word mainstream because it seems like it's an insult. But when it becomes more easily accessible and everyone you know, has a big following and everyone makes art for it. And then it gets part of like the big companies and they start making merch for it then it just kind of makes it harder on us artists and we just don't sell as much and again i can't speak for everybody but i know a bunch of us kind of feel that way so you know it, it is what it is so we have my hero academia and chainsaw man especially too well actually my hero academia chainsaw man and spy family they are definitely ones that they used to sell really well and then Drop of a dime, it just stops selling. And I think it's just because you can find artwork or merch for all three of those series kind of anywhere for the most part. So it just kind of seems pointless for us to keep making things for it. I mean, if I really want to, if I really come up with something, I really want to make something, I'm going to. But for the most part, it just doesn't seem like a solid business plan. So there's other series that want, that people want artwork for and and kind of garnish some attention. So I'm gonna just kind of aim towards that way. So out of the 100, or out of the 200 and like 70 prints, I've cut down to 150. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it is to me. Uh, I got, that means that's over, what's about 120 prints I cut down. So that's just the second round. I did the first round before. So I'm going to cut down even less. I'm going to try to keep it to 100 max. We'll see. Just to point this out, I'm not like getting rid of all those prints. They will be online only, um, majority of them. There are some that I don't want to have anymore. And I will be putting it on my socials for a bit, for a bit. Saying, hey, this is the last chance to get these. Won't make them anymore. Um, so, yeah. This was a little hard. I might need Shane to help me. Maybe we'll make like a bracket challenge thing. And we'll figure out that way how to do it. Because otherwise, I don't know at the moment. But yeah, 150. That's not bad. Okay? And so, you know. Um, yeah. So I guess I can do something else besides this now. Um, I think my brain is a little 
counted out and emotionally taxed on having to say goodbye to some of these. Even though, you know, some of them may not look like anything. Oh, like a black and white one, whatever. Well, I still painted it and I'm still attached to it. You know, like, let's see here. I'm gonna try to pick one at random and see if how attached I am to it. So I guess I'm not that attached to this one now that I think about it, but it does sell a lot. Everyone loves this iconic scene. So I really can't, this one doesn't count because that one sells a lot. So let's try this again, one more time. Okay, it's Mr. Two. I love Mr. Two. And a friend of mine actually bought this painting. So I guess I, I could always find a way to see it, but I love this painting. I love this print. It was kind of a simple design, but everyone seems to like it. And Mr. Two sells a decent amount. So it's like, I'm attached to it. It sells well. Why wouldn't I keep it? So what should I do next? Um, let me figure that out. I'm gonna take a little break for a second and then I'll figure that out. So I thought, while I'm taking a break from the 5 by 7 stuff, I would do some of my Patreon stuff. I never mailed out my Patreon rewards for March yet. And when I'm recording this, this is April 4th. But my patrons are very understanding and they're great. So I just did my, I did my, my uh, poll that I put on Patreon that they get to vote which 5 by 7 they want. But some of them voted, but they all have to vote between um, Cells at Work, Red Blood Cell, uh, the Kona Suba crew, from Konosuba, and a Dazai print from Bungo, which I don't remember where I put it, but I'll find it in a second. Oh, this one. So this Dazai print. So it is one of the prints I am keeping though, but yeah, so someone voted. I gotta put that stuff together before I mail it out. Not everyone voted yet, which is fine. I did it this morning. So people have jobs and lives, so I have to figure that out. By the way, I did say today's April 4th and it's my mother's birthday today. So, you know, happy birthday to my mom. I did call her, so relax. And I'll be seeing her this weekend for her birthday because we're not celebrating it today on a, on a Thursday. But I'm gonna do this Patreon stuff that I can right now, take a break from this counting and emotional distress. So yeah, we'll do that next. So since not everyone voted, I can't do all theirs yet, but three of them, three of my patrons from that tier so far have voted, so I can at least pack up three of those patreon rewards the other people i gotta wait for so i won't pack that up until i know what they want for sure so so that's just explaining that's why there's only three right now narrator ivan is here returning so i like to sign my work all my prints unless i have my little ivan patch logo already on it like my new prints do I just feel I should label my work. I feel us as artists, we should. I know I get some people ask me not to do it, but it's my work, I'm gonna do it. So as I was doing this, someone else voted, uh, a, four, my four, a fourth person voted on what 5x7 they wanted. So it was the Dazai. Actually, no, it was another red blood cell, I'm sorry. So there's a third one for that. And then I now I'm just gonna do the other persons that I didn't get to do yet. Wow, the third red blood cell one I voted on. So three, we're so far for the five by sevens this month. Three people wanted red blood cell. And so one another person wanted Dazai. So I'm gonna pack that up now. This month, the sticker is, where is it? Which, by the way, I am super ecstatic about this sticker. This month's sticker is a Roger crossover. So if you guys follow my social media and see me at cons, you know I do a Roger the Alien crossed over with anime characters. And this month's is, uh, I call it Nico Roger. So I think I said this at an, in one of my convention vlogs, but yeah, it's pointing out. This is the sticker they're getting this month. So, so far these four are almost ready. I still have more people to wait on for voting and all that, but that's fine. I can get them later. But I'm also gonna throw in some of these freebies like I told you guys in my other studio vlog. I need to get rid of some of these. They're gonna be mystery packs, but 
I'm going to put them in here. And I know a lot of these patrons pretty well. I mean, a lot of them I've met at cons and I tend to know what they're into. So I'm going to kind of, I'm going to try to pick out things that relate to what I know they're into. And so I, so like I know one of them is a really big Hunter Hunter fan. So I'll throw in Bisky from Hunter Hunter in there. So that one's a good, that one's good to go. So you, they usually get it, like I said, eight by 10 print. That's for this month that I create. Five by seven, they vote on the exclusive sticker for the month and a little freebie I like to throw in there just cause I'm grateful for them supporting me. Okay, so these four are done. I have the freebies in each one of them, the sticker, the prints, all that. So I can go mail these out immediately. And the other ones I'm waiting to vote on, I can do those later. So it's actually probably about, about right about time that I start doing my I at lunch and do a little exercise because I don't want to not, I don't want to forget about my health. Uh, I know a lot of artists get really hyper-focused. I get very hyper-focused and I need to make sure I take a break. And after everything that happened with the passing of Akira Toriyama, which hit me kind of hard, if I'm being honest, regardless of how you feel about Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball, uh, he impacted a lot of the work out there. And like mangakas, they don't have the best uh, schedule. And unfortunately, a lot of them tend to have some health issues because they're always focused on working, 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 because um, they have crazy schedules and deadlines. So I want to make sure I'm not just seating or make sure I'm not always sitting. Hence, that's why I tend to stand up a lot when I paint, because I don't want to stay seated the whole time. So I'm going to go do some of that um, and I'll get back to this stuff later. So uh, I'll be back. After my break and lunch and things like that, I think I've decided that I want to sketch some of my new print ideas that I have. Because I have at least seven in my head. The four of my 14s, I mean. So I need to start sketching them out. I don't want them, I don't want them to just stay here because then I'll forget about them. Or, I mean, maybe not to forget about. Well, I guess I'll forget certain details and it's better to put it down when you have an idea. I would draw it on paper. But because I know for sure that I'm going to do it and I think I'm going to do less detail with these sketches, I thought, oh, well, I'll just do it on the iPad. It's fine. So I'm going to start doing that first. Um, you might recognize this. It's well, the, then again, you might not recognize it. The sketch is going to be real messy, but I have a solo leveling print I really want to do. So I'm going to start with that first. I went for a different kind of way I do my gestures for this piece because solo leveling has a particular art style that is not particularly my norm. And, you know, even though I did go to school for animation, we were taught to mimic. So I wanted to kind of go in a different route when it comes to sketching it and doing the gesture for it. So, and I do apologize for recording on the right side. I am right-handed, so I don't know why I thought to do that, because I slightly block some of it with my right hand. So apologies there. This may not be something other people like to do, but I really love the like theory of subtraction versus addition when it comes to like art and drawing and painting. And like when I used to do a lot of charcoal drawing back in the day, I used to just fill the page with a bunch of charcoal and then I would erase 
a way to make uh, the image I wanted like emerge. I was just I just really loved subtraction. So it's just something I even do in in this stage too in my in, when I don't, even when I come in with my sketches and concept art. I'm also a stickler for references. I'm gonna keep references on me all the time. I know some people say that's, you know, you're not really creating, but I'm sorry, I'm not gonna remember every detail from a character in my brain. Like, I have a great memory, but that's excessive. As you can see, I am watching Bungo Stray Dogs while I'm making this solo leveling um, print. Which, yes, I know I could be watching solo leveling, but I've only watched it in sub because I was waiting. I was watching it as it came out. I wasn't gonna wait for it. Um, and I could put the dub on while I'm drawing because I do that. I rewatch animes and dub all the time. If I don't want to wait, I watch it sub, and then when it comes out on dub, I'll put it on. Especially if I'm working on something for it. But because my husband hasn't seen it, he's going to have to watch it and I'll have to watch it in dub because since if it's out in dub, that's how he's going to want to watch it. And I don't want to rewatch it again for a third time when he can start it. So I would just rather wait and watch something else. So because I want to rewatch Bungo Stray Dogs, I've only seen the first two seasons, I think. I think. Um, I want to remember everything so I thought, I thought I'd start it all over again. I will point out that I feel like it is a show that does not get enough praise. I do feel like the popularity has has grown again but I just feel like also it's not talked about enough and everyone kind of just goes off about talking about particular characters like oh they're so cute or whatever which is cool I'm that's fine but can we just point out how great the character designs are and like the animation in general? It's just so clean. I just, yeah, ever, now that I'm rewatching it, I'm just remembering how much I loved its aesthetic and how it looked. So yeah, I don't know, just random thought that I had. I didn't know if anyone else felt the same way. Um, after rewatching it, it makes me want to make more stuff for it because I only have a few things. Like I have a few five by sevens that I'm keeping. They're not ones being deducted. And I have like one eight by 10 of Chuya. So I gotta make more, I gotta make more stuff. But I wanna wait further in the series. But I do, but hold, hold, hold me accountable. I feel like that's what this studio vlogs are turning into is me saying stuff and doing things and wanting people to hold me accountable. So in the comments or whatever, just, you know, hound me like, to make this art. Cause I got to. Um, and I plan to. So it's later than it was earlier. Sun is going down. I have the regular light on. Um, it's not my favorite hue, not my favorite type of lighting. But this is what I got so far. I should have gotten more, I guess, but this is all I got so far. The line work for the for the print. Yeah, it's better. Uh, yeah. So, you know, um, I feel like I would have normally gotten more done. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know if I should be working through the night. This is where I get all 
indecisive in my head. Because I, I did get a couple of orders today that popped up on the website, so I could fulfill those. Which, you know, probably a good idea to do. Um, I also could do those tomorrow morning. But I also might be a little burnt out today. Not like I did anything super strenuous today, but with, you know, the deducting of the prints and working on this actual print from sketch and all that to like the line work, I just feel like it was more than I guess I was ready for today. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes there are days when you get more work done than others. So I will see what I'm going to do. I will take a small break and I'll figure that out. All right, I lied. I kept going and I added some color. So this is, you know, what I've shown you, plus some flats. I'm not done, obviously. But my iPad just told me I have 10%. And then my Apple Pencil told me it has 5%. So I guess that means that, means that I, why do I slur my words? I guess that means that I'm done drawing right now. It is after midnight. Midnight 11. Okay, well, you know, 12, 11. I used to say things like midnight 30 and midnight 10 when it was after midnight, and everyone seemed to hate that for some reason. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I said I was going to stop working, and I did for a little bit. But then I kept getting, like, ideas in my head and stuff about, like, different paintings or art I could do. And then... A regular turned friend messaged me about the anime Windbreaker that it is out. And I've been waiting for that. I didn't realize it was out today. So I started it. Only episode one. If you guys haven't watched it, you should check it out. But, like, why is it so pretty? And now I have a ton of ideas and I don't know what to do. I want to go to bed. Well, I should go to bed. Is what I, phrase that. I don't actually want to go to bed. But either way, I should be going to bed. And I'm not because all these ideas are running in my head. And it's just like, because it's just so pretty looking. And the, it's so clean. And the animation was so awesome. Like, the show is really, really nice. The first episode was really good. And first episodes do not get me. First episodes take a long, like, I am usually really, really critical on the first episodes of something. Usually it takes me, I usually have to get through five to six episodes before I really want to know if I'm into it or not. Because first episodes can be rough. I mean, come on, look, I have it on right now. Look, just check this out. So yeah, this is the, this is, this is the dilemma I'm in. I should just go to bed. I, I am going to, I did get my notebook out. I'm going to like write some of the ideas down that I have in my head. I'm not going to sketch because I'll stay up all night and I shouldn't do that. I'm ready a new anime to add to the list of things that I want to make art for. And I feel like people are going to sleep on this series. And I say their loss, I guess. But 
I'm gonna click the manga now too. Is that sad? One episode. Either way, I I'm gonna go to bed. Um, I will continue this vlog tomorrow when I wake up. Good afternoon. Yes, it's the afternoon of the next day. I didn't record in the morning like I wanted to do. I was gonna wake up and just get going on work and start filming. And I didn't. I ended up having to run around and run some errands and whatnot. I did pick up my mom's birthday gift, which I can show you guys actually, but it's not in the room. It's gonna give me a minute. My neck is hurting a little bit from sitting and drawing. Uh, you know, I have this little tray and that usually helps for the wrist, but my, I'm still kind of looking down. So my neck kind of hurts a bit. So I'm going to decide what I'm going to work on first. But I do want to finish the print in time for this vlog. Otherwise, if I wait too long, this vlog is going to get really long. And I don't think you want to watch an hour or more of a studio vlog. So my mom loves to do puzzles. So I got her this Kirby puzzle. It's not too hard, I think. I think it's like... It's only 300 pieces, that's not too bad. She's done much, much larger ones, more pieces. So this is this is the image, you can see it. Oh, you can see the reflection of me in it. <laughs> Either way, that's the that's the the puzzle. I have some, I actually have something else I wanted to make, this little sticker of my mom. So I don't know if, you, if many of you Remember, if you're all following from back in the day, when I used to make videos before I took a break and then started again, my mom and I used to do drawing videos a few years ago. They're on my channel if you wanna watch, I guess. But uh, we don't live close to each other anymore, so it's kinda hard to do that. But there was this little, I drew her as a part of the logo. So I was gonna make stickers of those for everybody that's coming to my mom's little celebration thing. I thought that'd be cool. Now that I think about it, I should probably work on that first because I'm not gonna have that much time before tomorrow when the party is. So I guess you would say I'm doing this last minute. Whenever I make the stickers, I always I have to cut the little laminate sheets because I don't need them as long as they come. But I always have these scraps and I always want to do something with them and I don't know what to do. Cause I'm like, I don't want to waste paper, but it's also just this big. Like, what am I going to use this for? So just to be annoying, I always take them and I usually put it, ah, can I open it? I usually just put it on my shirt just so I got use out of it. I know it's stupid, but it's really dumb actually. So it's the next day and I apologize. I had to stop what I was doing because my friend needed help moving into her new place and it took pretty much the most of the day. And then at nighttime, I was supposed to go see a movie with my husband. So we saw Monkey Man, really great with uh, Dev Patel. Either way, I just wanted to show you the stickers done before we go to my mom's for her birthday and I'm not gonna have them anymore. So this is how they came out. This is our little logo that I made when we used to do videos together. So I want to show you that there because I'm not going to be able to draw or do much work today. So I want to show you this and I will be back to record when I'll be back to record tomorrow and finish that print. Because I told you I'm going to finish it. I promise.
So it's been a couple days and I've been working on this print. I had to stop a few times because of just things in general, in life and other chores and other tasks. So now I'm trying really hard to finish this. And it's not that I'm hitting a roadblock. I have a bunch of ideas. Like I have my little book here with like different things I want to do. And every time I try them out, they're not really working out. So now I feel, um, for one, I'm a little annoyed because I had an idea in my head and I was super excited for it. And now it doesn't seem to go the way I thought, which is kind of rare for me, if I'm being honest. I mean, everyone goes through this, so it's not like it's a new thing. Every art artist or anyone wants to do anything creative, anyone feels this. But I just thought I wasn't going to because I had an idea in my head already. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I know what I want to do. But it's just not working out. I don't want to end this vlog without finishing this. So, yeah. I'm sorry that this vlog is consisting of multiple days versus like one or two days. But, I mean, this is how my creative process works with a lot of things. I did get a lot of other stuff done. just haven't gotten this done yet. So it's the end of the night and I finally finished this print. I did work on some Patreon stuff in between. I had to mail out some of that stuff because uh, some of the people who, um, they didn't vote for their five by seven print yet. So I had to message them and get some final decisions. Then I got that together and I mailed that out. Like I think I've shown that in earlier or another video. I can't remember now, but I did work on Patreon stuff before but I had to finish this stuff up. But now I finished this print. Hopefully you can see it. It's not like I can print it out right now because I usually get these sent out to be printed, but this is how the soul leveling print has, has turned out. It's been a long, hard road. So if you can see it well, I hope you can. There's a glare, oh gosh. All right, this is how it has turned out. Hopefully it's clean enough for you to see. Um, you know, as long as so much I can do, the, the coloration's a little off, a little off because of the lighting in here. So it's gonna be a little bit different. It might be a little more, a little bit darker depending on how it prints, because when you print, it's in CMYK. But the overall aspect is pretty clear. Like the colors are pretty close. Um, some of these are a little fuzzy here on here. But if I can get a print of it ready before I edit or post this video, I can edit it in so I can show you guys. But so far, but well, this is what, not so far, this is how the print turned out. If you've seen the series, you know this episode, you know this what's referencing. I am really proud of it. I'm happy how this came out. I do think I'm going to end the vlog here. I feel like it's been pretty long. Uh, we got to the end of this journey of making this print. I'm really into soul leveling. I wanted to make more art for it, and I'm really happy with the layout I came up with for this print. All right, there was a couple moments that I mentioned earlier that I had a hard time figuring out what I wanted to do, but I don't know. I really like the comic layout. I re I'm very much into graphic, like a graphic look, graphics in general. Um, I may have not gone to school for graphic design, but I really did study a lot on it, and I had friends who were in the field, so I was always very interested in... I don't know. So I kind of, that's what kind of what these prints are turning out to. I, I have my floral maidens and then I have this more comic graphic layout that I'm kind of leaning into right now. And I don't know, I, I, they've been having some 
they've been having a strong effect on me and it's making me think a lot more about the art I'm making, the, the, like the concepts and just kind of the, um, I don't know, just that designer quality that they all kind of have. And I just want to keep emphasizing on that and like working on that. So I'm really happy how this came out. I appreciate you all for watching. I don't know how else to end this besides uh, saying what I'll be doing next. I do have, my next con will be um, PopCon Indy in Indiana. I think I said it in my previous video, but I will not have another studio vlog after this. I will have a convention vlog, which will be that one. And I will obviously show you guys what I'll be working on before I go. But I appreciate you all going on this journey with me and seeing a little bit of what I do and how sporadic my schedule can get at times but i appreciate you all for watching and i hope you guys continue to do so so my information is down below if you want to follow me on instagram and whatnot oh uh, check out my patreon but talk to you guys next time